In this lesson, you will learn how to import manual test cases and test suites into ALM Octane using Excel. In order to import data into Octane, click on the configuration button, the wheel here on the top, and then you will find the area for import, importing backlog items, importing test, importing requirements document. All the import areas work in the same manner. So you want to import backlog items, it will be exactly the same approach to do so. Same goes for test and requirements document. So let's select test to import manual test and test suites. Once you selected test, Octane will open a dialog and will ask you for a file, basically which you don't have because you are doing it this for the first time. And on the bottom, you can find here a template file which you can download. So if you click on the link, it will download the file. And once you have received the file, you need to uh, change the template according to your needs and um, save it. And once you have saved it, you can uh, browse it from here and um, insert the same file which you have uh, received as a download with the changed data and then press on import. So now we are going to exactly see how you can make use of it. So if you click on the link, it will download the file. I have already opened it. So let's close it. So this is basically the file uh, which will be downloaded. Uh, you see we have two sheets. You have one sheet is for manual tests and the other sheet is for test suites. And uh, make sure if you are not importing test suites, you need to uh, delete the sheet or if you are not importing manual test make sure you delete the sheet yeah okay so now let's start with the manual test so in the manual test sheet you will find a number of columns system columns um, which you can uh, use and these columns are representing the system fields and the, basically the fields you have in ALM Octane the very first column is Mainly for now, for the first import, um, it is only focusing on your Excel data. So you need to provide a unique ID. You always start the first uh, data set record with one. Yeah? And you continue uh, always increasing the unique ID it, it, independently from what data record you import. Yeah? So the second field will define what data record you import. So it could be in this manual test sheet it could be either a manual test or a step a step can only be imported if you have before it uh, one entry with test underscore manual to define where the step should be added so you can define here exactly i have uh, the first line will define the manual test and the second line will insert the steps so you can insert all the steps to this manual test and then if you want to continue with the new test you continue with test underscore manual and then define all the steps so here you can see we have two test cases with four steps yeah? and here we have one test case with no step another test case with no step and then again we have one test with one two three four five six steps yeah? so basically this is how you define the manual test and steps and after this, you have the name. So name can be filled out only on the level of test underscore uh, manual. And the step type is only valid for the type step. Yeah, so you don't enter it for the test manual. It's only valid for the type step. And you have two kinds of steps in Octane. So you have the simple setup step, which is just an instruction for the tester to do something. And you have a validation step where you instruct the tester to check something yeah? so here this is the difference and they will be imported exactly in the same manner then you continue with the description of the uh, step yeah? so describe what the tester has to do the next field is uh, the test type yeah? so here you have the possible values um, in ALM Octane so let me show you quickly what are the values so if you go back in Octane go to any of the test module entities so now open it and here you can see these are all the values for the test types yeah so you have to enter it exactly in the same manner 
and take care if you are using a different language then check your ui how your ui is configured what data is represented in those system fields if it's translated make sure you enter in excel the translated value and not the english value <clears throat> So then you have the product areas. So product areas are basically uh, your uh, application modules. So exactly what you find here on the left hand side, you have to enter exactly in the same manner. Like if I would like to import here in search, I need to copy it here and enter search. If I want a test to be assigned to two uh, modules, I separate them by comma and enter then the next module. If you want to access a child module, like we have here, let's say application mobile store, then uh, login, then you say application mobile store slash then mobile login. Uh, so with the slash, you separate to the child's. Then the covered content. So what is the covered content here? Backlog items uh, you can enter basically by its ID and separate them by uh, comma or in this case uh, yeah, in my case it's comma based on your uh, system locals it could be comma or um, semicolon now the next user field is important because the designer need to be um, a valid um, username so if this user or the id you are providing here does not exist in octane Octane will not allow you to import. So you make sure you enter all the users you want to import in Octane before. The description, and this description is the test description, not the step description. You can enter the estimated duration. Owner is exactly the same like the designer. Enter the users which are in the uh, project. Then the phase of the test, at which phase is this, uh, this test, enter the user tags. And then you can say, um, if you want to have your user defined fields um, imported with data as well, just change here with the name of your user defined field. So I have a user defined field in my uh, project called country. So I enter here country underscore UDF and will import the data. So this is basically how you do it for the manual test. Now for the test suites, you can do exactly the same manner. You start the first column with the unique ID, same approach, continue increasing it, starting from number one. And then the type represents the same, uh, like you have the test underscore suite, which is will create for you a test suite. And now similarly to the manual test, you have here, um, not the steps but the manual test itself so you say it's test manual and now you have to tell uh, the x or octane what test should be inserted and you are referring basically here to the test id and the test id is from excel here so you refer basically to the id you have here so you say one is the id i want to enter so it will be the test at id one then you want to enter the ID 6, 11, 12, 13. So let's go to 6 is here, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so basically you're referring back to the first sheet by importing the test suites um, and reusing the data you have already in the first sheet before. Then again, you assign the application modules, the covered content uh, you can link here as well with the test suites, covered requirement you can also uh, link directly you have the designer so user field a valid user should be entered as well as for the owner is the same uh, description and for the user tags which was uh, valid on the other side as well um, let me click here so this should be in your project yeah? so if you don't have the user tag it will not import so it's here in the same manner, you can see we have the user tag on the manual test. So these tags need to exist in the, in your workspace. Otherwise, Octane will not allow you to import. So now let me open my file to show you how I have prepared the data. So this is basically exactly the same file from the data perspective I will use to import. Um, what I have here is, you can see, I have uh, 
change the product areas. So I have my own um, application modules I will use. So this structure I will use exactly also in this child object. I will insert one test so you can see it here. Application mobile store slash uh, mobile login. Then all this designer user data I have changed. So designer I've changed to my user ID and then the owners I've changed to um, other uh, people in the workspace. I have a user defined field with country underscore UDF where I say this test case is for Germany, Switzerland, Holland, Sweden, Switzerland, and so on. So I really put the name of the uh, different uh, countries here and they are in the same uh, label. So they have the same label in ALM Octane and as well as the user tag. And so I've entered the user tag in my project and it's available. So let's quickly check. If I go here, you can see here Octane Academy is already entered as well as on country. I should see here country is there and in country I have these values represented. Yeah? So this is important. The data skeleton should exist before you import. So once you have done it, this is fine. And one last thing I forgot to mention for the design. Um, in the step types, you don't have two types. You have also another type, which is a call. And here you can call maybe um, the whole test case, which you have defined already. Yeah? So you can say here at this step, I would like to do a call to this ID. Yeah? So you are calling a test with all its steps at this step. Yeah? So this um, manual test will have at the end one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. Yeah? So we will um, look for the verified purchase uh, stocks from um, mobile. And here you are also referring to another step. So here this uh, test will be called which is empty but anyway you can call it here and it will appear in your in your uh, test case yeah? so once you're completed and done you can check the uh, test suites as well which basically is not too much i've uh, removed everywhere the covered content so i don't need it in this case and now i'm ready to import so let's close it close the file and say this is fine and now I can go to the configuration, import test, browse. Now click for my Excel, which I have here. And now I can import and Octane will check. And it comes up here with the error message. And this tells me exactly that some of the users does not exist. And this is important. You need to make sure that those users exist. Otherwise, Octane will not uh, allow you to import. So let me quickly insert these users and we will continue after this. So I have imported the user in the background and now you can click on re import. Now it found four errors, so it's good that it's finding still. I have um, no entity for this user, so let me quickly check. So now this user is imported as well and let's try again. So it looks good. Um, now Octane has uh, started the import process and once it's completed it will come up with the result and confirmation that all the test cases have been imported. So now uh, you can see 15 tests were created successfully so I can press OK. Refresh here and now let's check if something has been created here. So I can see yes this uh, test has been created and also under this test I should find here the call so you can see here um, I have uh, the steps plus all the steps which are in the test uh, which is uh, listed here so let's go in and you can click basically on this ID and it will open these steps yeah? so basically if you would run the test it should have seven steps so let's run it quickly to show it so now you can see we have exactly seven steps. So this is working. Let me check also the country uh, field. So it was the country field, which should be here. So let's quickly check. This is fine. So I can go here to the top, 
filter only on manual test and let's open i think from here these are the ones so here we can see country in this is not in but here we have switzerland germany so the country field is maintained and also here you can see the tag for obtain academy is represented as well in some areas where i have entered the data it is represented the auto is changing the owner is changing so this is fine so here we are good um, it worked and this is a very easy way to import test into lm octane